Okay, <clears throat> here we have another precision screwdriver. The markings we have on here are X0042KTT1V. It's a Bezos Max electric screwdriver, screwdriver cordless repair tool. <clears throat> kind of drawn out and confused. Comes with a charging cable, USB-C. Just about everything seems like is uh, USB-C nowadays, which is great. There we go. <clears throat> Set this off to the side. You got instructions. Uh, type C interface, which I guess it's saying uh, USB-C. Uh, does have an OLED display, uh, calls it a visual screen. Uh, it is made of an aluminum. Uh, it's a reverse switch, forward switch, LED lights, and of course the bit holder. Uh, electric screwdriver, the material is aluminum alloy, charging 5 volts, 2 amps, voltage DC 3.7 volts, lithium battery. 350 milliamp hours charging time about 60 minutes uh, charging instructions on charging the screen displays the battery icon and turns on the light it's a little battery and it progressively fills the battery when it's completely full and not flashing the battery is charged uh, it does have charging protection which is good uh, endurance time standby for 90 days uh, continuous operation for 180 minutes uh, rated torque is 0.3 newton meters uh, electric and 3.5 newton meters manual I guess that is doable I mean uh, your gear ratio in there to give you torque to begin with is uh, what's going to keep your tip from turning kind of like a planetary on a uh, big forklift uh, when you take a say a large gear on a small gear and you turn that large gear slowly the small gear spinning super fast but then and you can turn it but then when you grab the small gear trying to turn it against the big gear you can't and so that's kind of the principle where all this works uh, rotational speed 170 rpms uh, size is 134.5 by 17 millimeters 52 grams in weight and that's the details on that now this is the good part that is a solid case it's a metal case it's really good there's the bit driver it doesn't doesn't come out uh, compact sturdy heavy it's not coming out till you push in and that releases it then you can drop it out so you have long as well as short bits uh, great selection so what do we have here six across but so you got about 40 bits here uh, and also you have a magnetization which is what that's going to be and I don't see a demagnetizer, which may be just holding it up on top. We'll check that in just a second. Let's get the screwdriver out, set that aside, and let's grab. These are held in by magnet, uh, magneta, uh, magnetization. If I can get that out, grab another bit and put it here nothing I 
Let's see. Yep. There you go. So run it around in here. And again, both sides. Doesn't matter, but either side will do it. Well, hold on. That magnetizes. Run it in on top. And that demagnetizes it. So, great. There, there, let's see. They're held in there pretty good. They don't come out. Uh, you've got like a little pry bar slash maybe a kind of a spudger. It's a slightly flexible, not a lot. So, decent pry tool, I think. See, it's slightly dislodged. I may have done that with my hand. Uh, yeah, I probably did when I was reaching in to grab this out. So, you got uh, the pry bar in there. And then over here you have, also held in by magnetization, both of these are, you got a set of tweezers. Sharp point, uh, get the bits out with it. So, pretty good setup there. So, let's grab just a random bit. Set that up there. Put it in here. So, no other markings on it. Just Bezos Max. Of course, your USB-C connection. Hit your button. You got your battery indicator. Now, here you push the bottom button. It should go clockwise to screw in, and that screw should go down as though you're putting it in. There you go. You go on reverse, counterclockwise, it goes up. Now, let's see. I don't see a way of turning the light off. So your your light is is full time. You're gonna have the light on whether you want it on or not. It's two LEDs. That's clockwise, and that's counterclockwise. Now, uh, this is the third one that I've done. Uh, I've also got the uh, Miniware uh, ES15S. Uh, the generic. Uh, one and I've got another generic one coming. I've actually got a second one of these coming. It's free from Timu. Uh, this is from Timu as well. Um, the, so once I've got them all, I'm going to do individuals on each one of them. Just give you an idea of what they are, what, what's all included. And then once I've got them all in, I'm going to do a uh, comparison between the two doing torque. I have, uh, I've done a lot of gunsmithing. So uh, I have a uh, fat wrench. It's a torque wrench, torque screwdriver. And I'm going to use to torque some screws to a set torque. And then that way I can repeat that torque per screw. And I'll use these to see which ones can get it out. And uh, so that'll be one of the tests that I plan on doing. Uh, this one right here, uh, I, I don't think it's going to have the torque that the other one had. Uh, there's a little bit of play in there. Um, but I think it's going to be a decent little screwdriver. Uh, I do love the kit, the case, the way everything is set up and put together. It's really, it's really great. You've got a great selection of bits, uh, especially with the longer shafts. Uh, there's been many times with the other screwdriver, the generic one that I had done a, a review on, uh, that I've needed to get into deeper screws, um, and I, I had no way of doing it because that bit set didn't have uh, these longer bits. So that's really going to be a, a cool addition. 
I've designed a uh, case to hold about 134 millimeter bits, which these are four millimeter bits. All of the drivers that I'll be looking at are all four millimeter bits. Um, but I really like this case, so I don't know that I really want to put these in there because I love the way this case is set up, the way it's uh, everything works together with it. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, I may just have something set up here, probably put these longer bits in it and uh, a, a configuration, so to speak. Uh, of course, like I said, I got another one of these coming, so I may have one of these set up to, to travel in a bag or something like that. And then the other one I'll use here on my bench. But uh, that's about all I've got for this right now. Uh, that fits in there pretty snug. And again, Here's your little studs that connect inside the case here. Click it into place. And she's in there. So, that's all I've got. Thanks, and God bless.